all your heart to them and don't commit their treasury departments to them. Don't give them titles and don't give them responsibilities immediately. They must stay and study the culture of that organization and that ministry. They must catch it, catch the spirit of the place before you give them responsibilities. You know here we don't use titles. I even don't call myself bishop. You call it. Fully consecrated. I have all the album and everything, the certificate. I don't call myself. When was the last time you heard me say I'm bishop? I call myself pastor. Just as long as you don't call me Kofi. Okay, okay. I'm okay. We don't use deacons. We don't use elders. We don't use those titles here. We discarded it after the buffoonery. You don't need a title to function. Just get the job done. On your job, you don't need to be called manager. Just do the job. Just be somebody people will follow, whether you have a title or not. Just do your job, and they will end up calling you by the title. But don't go, boss. It's just like husband saying to their wife, "Don't you know I'm the head of the house?" Don't you? You have missed it. A husband doesn't have to tell his wife, "I am the man." Ah! The moment you open your mouth and say, "I'm the man," that means you are not functioning at all. Stop it. Don't say it. Don't bo- let the woman just do, hey, honey, hey. Let her do the thing. Don't blow your horn. I am the man of the house. We know. What's your problem? Are you having insecurity somewhere along the line or something? Let them call you, honey, man, the my man. No, I'm the man. No, let her. She calls me mine. That means you are mine. I'm functioning good to become man. Still functioning good. Because the mind is still there. Getting better in my old age. Like new wine. Old wine. I'm old wine. Old wine. Don't need to go and make noise. Do you know me? I'm Deacon Joseph. Look, Deacon simply means a waiter at a restaurant. You are there to serve. Look at Acts chapter 6. You are just there to serve tables and salt quarreling. What's your problem? Deacon John, Elder Jones. What for? What do you call, what do you call her here? Mama B, not Pastor B. Even if you call her Pastor, she gets upset. Before she became a minister, how we have to fight? All kinds of men of God came to confirm it. She resisted it. Even when she became pastor, she said, I want to use minister. What is it? If titles will take us to heaven, then none of us will go. You don't need a title to function and accomplish your assignment in life. Just get on with it. The most powerful man on the earth still calls himself Mr. President, not Chief. Not Chief. Not Apocryphy. Not His Excellency. Not, 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 not Cardinal, Pope, Episcopal, Emeritus, Esquire. What is this? Am I beating down titles? No. I'm saying don't get your prestige. And your value from your titles. That's not where it is from. These people are just on a journey. They are passing through. So watch them. Seek cares. So anybody here saying all kinds of bad things about the place they came from. And one upon the other and upon the other. Now just, watch, just give them two, three weeks. You are, they will go to the next place and you'll be the one on board. Seekers. Seekers. Next group of people are what we call settlers. Settlers. You are either one or the other. And you decide to stay there or move on. Because the advantages of getting higher. The advantages. Sit, settlers. Who are settlers? Settlers are looking for security and well-being. They are not, it's just like, do you know there are some women and men who marry, I don't know, I think they said it's more to do with the women than men. There are some women who marry just for the title, but they don't do nothing as wives. They just like to be known as missus. That's all. 
they don't function as wife they don't take care of their husband they don't take care of their wife they, they just want to be known as what missus that's all there are people like that it's a disease it's demonic settlers are looking for security and well-being they are not ambitious looking for any accomplishments in any organization or any church even if you sack them they'll stay there if you tell them go they will still stay they are settlers they, 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 they are just there to add to the number they won't do nothing they don't contribute to anything they just like to be there i'm also there oh lord i want to be in the number uh-huh. when they say go my... yeah i want to be in the number no contribution no achievement no new ideas no and when you bring new ideas they resist it when newcomers come in they resist them they are threatened by new people who come in like if you're a singer and a sing- singer who sang now if you don't know yourself you say, hey! then after the service you go and meet that small girl and say you know something the microphone you know it was demons you know i'm sure they were afraid of your voice that's why they made the thing like that you know what's these technical people you know you gotta settlers they are insecure yeah. anybody who comes in they feel threatened yeah. are you coming for my position hey 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 i was here we are foundation members foundation members who are doing it not doing anything and new blood has come to revive the place and they oppose them in every organization is a man on a mission with a mandate to raise generational leaders called to set in order the things that are out of order and to bring leadership development human capacity wealth creation to all knowing and cultivating certain attitudes about yourself will give you the mindset you need to develop your leadership potential to the fullest to feel all that you are born to be releasing maximizing destiny house of judah the case for your potential is re- and your destiny maximized it's about knowing and developing activating attitudes about life. join us every sunday from 11 a.m at palm croy house 387 london road croydon cr03 pb and your life will never be the same again Maximizing Destiny with Dr. Michael Hutton Wood from the House of Jesus Leadership Factory, raising generational leaders, impacting the nations.